<sighs> Man, I haven't slept since like the weekend and it is now Wednesday. It's just a little bit before noon right now. I've had about 24 ounces of water, had a 20 ounce black coffee, and I had a kind bar that was about 200 calories. Um, and that is all I'm gonna have before I go work out, which I'm about to do in a minute. It is going to be leg day. I am signed up for CrossFit and that is starting in six days. So I'm really excited about it and I know on the last video I talked about being really nervous and that persists. I really am nervous to do it. Uh, and I think right now it's just from the standpoint of like, haven't slept in a long time and I get anxiety over things like that, over that that's going to cause me harm or injury or something in some way because my muscles aren't at like, you know, my body's just not where it should be. But I think a lot of that's just anxiety up here and kind of trying to, um, I don't know, almost trying to like block, mentally block myself from from committing or doing what I need to do to get healthy. My birthday was this past weekend. We went to the Minnesota State Fair and we ate very poorly and drank a lot, which, you know, kind of sucks, but it was like I had kind of planned to do something like that. But the fallout from that is like, like I have to stick with the consequence from that. So um, in the last week, I've gained six pounds, but lost five of them. So I'm basically one pound backwards from where I started, which, you know, if I'm trying to lose weight and stuff, it was a stupid idea and I should have limited myself. It's that same thing I keep struggling with is the binge eating and drinking thing and I, I keep doing this thing where I keep allowing myself times where I think that that's an okay thing like an event or something like that. I need to have more self-control. Um, that's all it boils down to. Control and accountability and I haven't been doing a good job of either of those things. This week I'm doing a lot of, we're doing a lot of wedding planning stuff. I am getting married in December which is part of the reason that we're joining CrossFit and, and I really want to get a good handle on my health, you know, and it's not just a, I'm going to do this until I get married thing. Like this is a, I need to keep applying these things moving forward because I want to be in the best shape of my life moving into this new chapter. A lot going on today. I'm working a full eight hour day. Uh, like I said, I'm gonna go to the gym, and later in the day I'll be editing the newest episode of Party in Peril that is coming out next Monday. Party in Peril being the Dungeons and Dragons podcast that I am a part of, um, where I play a drow character named Shepard Black, because I am a big nerd. So there you go, yes, I do Dungeons and Dragons. And podcasts, because it's 2019 and everyone's got a podcast. Well, I've got like four or five, so there. Yes, that is a bacon sizzling sound effect. Before I do anything else on the video, I'm gonna get to the gym. Okay, I am back home, I'm all showered up and clean. I did a 30 minute leg workout um, with machines, some free weights, and then also um, just the elliptical for about 10 minutes, but with the setting turned up super, super high. So it's almost like uh, just like hardcore having to climb some stairs with a lot of weight added to it. Um, so, I mean, it, so it feels good. I did about 10 minutes of stretching afterwards too. Um, it was gorgeous day outside, nice and windy and cool. It's, it's becoming fall here, um, which is great, even though we only get like three months of warm weather, which that kind of sucks. But anyway, now before I, before I left for the gym, I was just kind of thinking out loud when I was talking to the camera. And I think I really hit on something where the, the, the big thing that I need to work on is like, I have these ideas of, of doing things like intermittent fasting and, you know, counting my calories or counting my macros or exercising, um, and, and eating healthy and stuff. And I do think that you know, a cheat day sometimes is all right. But I get it in my head that, you know, big events or celebration or, or outings with friends, it's events like that where I tend to say, oh, well, just this is okay. 
And you know what? If if it were like one day a month or something, or even every two weeks, that I would be like, okay, well, I'm going to eat a little bit extra today. I'll get a few extra calories. I'll have one extra drink or something like, you know, stuff like that. I think it's, that could be okay. That could be manageable at least. But I think our, our lives are so busy that I feel like we always have like at least one big event every week. And then I overindulge to begin with. So, I mean, that's not sustainable. So the big thing for me to really work on is just because we're hanging out or going to some event or, or something like that, that should not, that doesn't give me permission to ignore the work I'm trying to put in to better my health. I think that's just something that I really need to get into my head. And I think that'll, that'll help out. It's not going to be easy to, to force myself to act and, and think that way, because honestly, that is the biggest problem I have as far as weight loss. Um, and it's all, it's all me. I'm, I'm getting in my own way for sure. So it's just something for me to really keep thinking about. And um, just w with with thinking about that again while I was at the gym and then coming home, it just really struck a chord where I'm like, I think, I mean, it should be kind of like, you know, duh, that's obviously what's going on. But it's just sometimes things like that don't sink in, you know. So I guess I'll see how the next week or two goes um, trying to keep that thought at the forefront and not allowing myself to give in and overindulge and things like that just because we're doing something fun or something out of the ordinary. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope that you are able to come away with something, whether it's just uh, a, a little revelation like I had that you can apply to your life, or whether it's just, um, you know, hearing the, the kinds of things that I'm eating and drinking throughout the day. Um, uh, I hope that something like that helps. So thank you again for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe if you would give me that support. I also have a gaming channel. You can see the links below, uh, Spartacus Gaming, where I do some Let's Plays. So if you do feel inclined and uh, like me or like gaming, please check that out. All right. I'll see you later. Keep fighting.